Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome to our lecture series for educational statistics. I hope that you are having a great day. So for today, we're going to have a very short um, discussion as a continuation of what we have discussed in our uh, class, which is educational statistics. For today, we're going to discuss about um, the levels of data measurement. So by the way, before I continue, I would like to remind you that by the end of this lecture, we're going to have a game, okay? Um, it's some sort of a quiz B, and whoever wins in the game will get a surprise um, gift from me. So there will be two sets of games, then uh, two sets, two winners for one winner for each game. So all in all, we are going to have two winners. Okay, so I think we should start with our discussion. By the way, guys, if you have questions, you can just leave a message on the chat box. And uh, when I see them, I'm going to answer your questions. Okay, um, if you can hear, by the way, my, if you cannot hear, or if you can hear my, my voice uh, and it's clear, please let me know so I could uh, proceed with our lecture for this morning. Okay, so let's begin. A variable has one of four different levels of measurement. So we have the different levels of measurement, which are nominal level, ordinal level, and uh, interval level and ratio level. So theref therefore, it is important for researchers to understand the different levels of measurement together with how the research question is phrased as it dictates what statistical analysis is most appropriate. That's why um, in our educational statistics class, we have to be very familiar with the levels of data measurement as later on when we will be doing hypothesis testing, you'll know that these are very useful in determining, well, just one of the considerations in determining the appropriate tests or statistical tests which will be used later on in your research study. Okay, so let's discuss this one by one. By the way, this is just very short, guys. So if, if, if you have a question just like what I said earlier, you can just uh, ask me a question before we proceed to the game. Okay, so we start with the nominal level. The nominal level of measurement is characterized by data that consists of names, labels, or any category, okay? So under the nominal level, the data cannot be arranged in an ordering scheme. So you have to take note of that. Um, examples of data under the nominal level uh, are sex, okay? So when we talk about sex, it's not the sex that you know, but it's male or female, okay? So if the, you look into it, there are two categories of sex. We have male and female, okay? And there is no arrangement or ordering scheme in sex, right? Uh, we can't say that male is higher than female or the other way around. So there is no ordering scheme. Or we can't say that male comes first, 
before female. Okay. Another example would be civil status or status, whether you are single, okay, uh, married, widowed, and so on. Another example would be nationality, whether then, okay, if you're Filipino, American, uh, South Korean, Chinese, okay. And we also have political party affiliation, okay? Um, say you are affiliated to a PDP or any political party. It could also be a party, a political party in your school, okay? Another is names of professional organization, okay? Pwede rin, yung mga names of professional organization that you are a member of, okay? or any other categories, okay, or labels, or names, okay? So all of those fall under the nominal level. Okay, so we proceed to the second one, which is ordinal level. The ordinal level of measurement involves data that may be arranged in some order. But differences between data values either cannot be determined or are meaningless. Okay, unlike in the nominal level, there is no ordering scheme. In ordinal level of measurement, um, there is an arrangement in some order. Okay, however, there the differences between data values, okay, uh, either cannot be determined or are meaningless. It does not mean anything, for example, okay? So here, under the ordinal level, you should um, think of things like a list, for example, of the top 10 cities to live in in the Philippines, okay? That could be a very good example. Um, the data, uh, in our example, are the 10 cities, livable cities, are, of course, ranked from 1 to 10. But differences between the cities don't make, make much sense, right? Because there is no way from looking at just the rankings to know how much better life it is in city number one or the top one city than the top two city, okay? Because you are just looking at the list of the top 10 cities to live so there is no way where you can determine how life is better in one city to another because you are just looking at a list so that's order however there is an order in our example top 10. next to another example would be um letter grades for example so you can order things so that a is higher than b but without any other information. So there is no way of knowing how much better is an A, a grade of A, than a grade of B. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So that's what we mean by ordinal level, okay? Now we move on to the third. which is the interna uh, interval level. So for the interval level of data measurement, um, this is like the ordinal level with the additional property that meaningful amount of differences between data can be Determine. However, there are no inherent or natural zero starting points. So again, interval is like ordinal. However, this time, there is meaning in the amount of differences between the data. Okay? All right. So I'll give you a good example. And of course, please don't forget, uh, that there are no inherent natural zero starting point under 
the interna- uh, interval level. Okay, now we'll, we'll best understand that by giving you an example. So let's say, dahil mainit ngayon, ano, uh, let's talk about Fahrenheit and Celsius scales of temperatures. Okay, these are both, ex- uh, both examples of data at the inter- interval level of measurement. So you can talk about, say, 30 degrees being the difference of of being 60 degrees less than 90 degrees, okay? So 60 degrees less than 90 degrees is 30 degrees. So differences do make sense. However, for both Fahrenheit and Celsius, zero degree in Fahrenheit and, uh, or in Celsius, I mean, um, it does not represent the total absence of temperature. Okay? So pag, pag sinabi natin zero degree, hindi big sabihin na walang temperature. Okay? There is. It's at zero degree. Okay? So yan yung ibig sabihin na there is no inherent zero starting point. Okay? Naintindihan natin. So zero degree does not mean the total absence of temperature because zero degree is a temperature and we know that that is the freezing point, okay? So the data at the interval level can be used in calculations, okay? However, data at this level lacks one type of comparison. So even though, let's say, 3 times 30 is equal to 90, it is not correct to say that 90 degrees Celsius is 3 times as hot as 30 degree Celsius, okay? So... Yan yung sa ating data uh, um, level or interval level, okay? So another example would be year, okay? Uh, example, year like 1943, 1721, 1521, 1669, okay? When we talk about year, wala tayong zero starting point because zero year does not mean that there is no year, okay? The absence of here, there is, okay? That's why we have the BC and AC also, okay? So I hope um, that's clear. Now we move on to the last. See, I told you this one is a very quick um, lecture discussion. <laughs> so we have the last one, which is the ratio level. The ratio level of measurement is the interval. It's an interval, but modified this time to include the inherent zero starting point. So for the values at this level, differences and ratios are meaningful. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Let's talk about distances. In any system of measurement, give us data at the ratio level, okay? Um, a measurement such as zero feet does, does make sense as it represent, uh, represents no length. So pag sinabi natin zero feet, so ibig sabihin walang length, okay? Kasi zero feet, okay? Or zero distance, okay? So walang, walang distance. So if you move zero distance, it means you did not move, okay? So there is an inherent zero starting point, Okay? Um, another is, let's say, two feet is twice as long as one foot. So ratios can be formed between the data. Okay, so if you add two feet, uh, two, if you add one foot and one foot, you will have two feet. So ratios can be formed between the data. Unlike in our previous example kanina, wherein we cannot say that 3 times 30 is equal to 90, it is not correct to say that 90 degrees Celsius is three times as hot as 30 degrees Celsius. Okay? So yun yung sinasabi natin dun sa, sa, sa um, interval level. Okay? But in ratio level, we can do that. Okay? So pag sinabi natin, like what I said, uh, two kilometers, that is just two times na tagwa one kilometer. Okay? Other examples under the ratio level are weights. Okay, if you, if, if you take your weight, okay, uh, pag zero weight, ibig sabihin wala. 
di ba? So, if you say you are uh, 40 kilograms and you have someone who is 80 kilograms, then you can say that the weight of that person is twice your weight, okay? Another is the length of movies, okay? If, 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 you, if you watch a movie and uh, the movie is one hour and 15 minutes, okay? So, that's a ratio level, okay? Pag zero, big sabihin, walang movie, okay? Kasi wala namang, pag ipi-play mo yun sa zero minute, so wala. Walang, walang, walang movie. Okay? Then, distance is traveled by car. Ano pa ba? Sometimes, um, this is a very loose way of understanding the ratio level. Yung iba sinasabi nila, dapat may point something daw. May zero inherent starting point, pero may point something. Okay? So... Halimbawa, yung distance traveled by car, so 2.75 kilometers. Or I mean, 200.75 kilometers. So meron siyang point. Or pag sinabi mong 200.0 kilometers. Okay, so that's loosely. Uh, that's the loose way of understanding ratio level. But uh, of course, technically, when we talk about ratio level, yun yung inaano natin, na meron siyang inherent zero starting point. The values at this level, differences and ratios are meaningful okay so that's one way of under that's the right way of understanding the ratio level okay so you know this like what i promise is just a very quick um discussion so after the discussion i will allow you to ask a question but if there is no question we proceed with our online game okay so magkakaroon tayo ng online game for today and uh, whoever wins will get a surprise gift from me surprise Baka masur ako ang surprise <laughs> okay do you guys have questions or are you guys ready for our game so the game will just let you um uh, categorize whether the data is nominal, interval, ratio, and so on. Okay, so bibigay lang ako ng example, and then pipiliin nyo kung anong level ng data measurement. Okay, so that's very easy. So there will be uh, two rounds for that. So ibig sabihin, we are going to have two winners at the end of our live stream. Okay. So, are you guys okay? So, if there are no more questions, just let me know. So, Harvey says he is ready for the game. Parang nagmamadali si, si Harvey. Okay, how about the rest? Um, this game, by the way, guys, are only for my students. So, if I have viewers who... Who's, who are not my students, then you will not be allowed to join the game. Ano? Kasi I wouldn't know kung saan ko idadala yang inyong premio. Ano? Okay, so I think we have Aisa here. Na ready na rin daw. Alisa is also ready. How about the rest? Lorraine, by the way. Okay, I think we have 34 viewers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you the instruction. You know? It's flashed on your screen. Um, you need to go to a site you know? uh, for you to be able to join our online game. I think, I don't know if I tried this already sa klase ninyo, but I've been using this in my class. So let's see. Okay. So yan yung instruction, guys. So you are just going to determine whether the given data is nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio, or under the ratio level of data measurement. So this is a contest. Now, for you to be able to join the contest, sabi ko, pupunta kayo sa www.menti.com and you wait for the code. So there is a code. 
na ibibigay ko sa inyo. And then, after that, uh, tatanungin kayo ng menti.com to enter your name. So, uh, please use your real names, okay, para malaman kung sino yon. And then, the faster you give the answer, the higher the points are allotted. Points allotted, okay? So, like what I said, there will be two rounds, five questions per round, and one winner per round. The two winners will get a surprise gift from me. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is go to www.menti.com. Okay. Open www.menti.com. Okay. First, you need a separate browser. <clears throat> Ayan, pumunta po kayo dyan. www.menti.com Okay na ba kayo guys? <clears throat> and then I'd like you to um, wait, enter the code. So this is the code, please wait. So the code is already on your screen. And code is Ayan. So, may mga pumasok na. Okay. So, I think we have 14. Participants, nasa niyo iba. You try Edmond kasi kailangan mo sa www.menti.com. Kaya hindi daw siya makapasok. And then have a screenshot of your score. Ano? So. You try again, ano, Lorraine. Uh, just use the code 2938-2498. Okay, so let's wait for the others while they are fixing their connection.
Ayun, madami na tayo. So I think we are, there are 20 participants. So I think we can start, ano? Uh, we can start with the game. So ang gagawin nyo lang po ay tumingin kayo dyan sa screen ninyo. Dito sa menti.com screen at dyan po kayo sasagot. So pabilisan ito ng pagsagot ng tama. Okay? So let's, let's start. Okay? So yun. Let us begin. Here we go. First question. Academic ranks of teachers. Okay, is it nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio? You guys should choose the answer. Bilisan niyo. <laughs> okay, only 16 answered. And the correct answer is ordinal. That's correct. So 9 out of 16 who answered the, uh, the question. Okay, so let's see kung sino yung nakakuha. Na pinakamabilis. Okay, it's Harvey. Ayan. <laughs> okay, so we proceed to the next. Scores in a quiz. Okay, so ambilisan. May ambilis sumagot, ha? Okay, so we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20. 20 ang sumagot dyan. Okay, the correct answer is ratio. Ayun. So pag zero siya, wala siyang score. Walang quiz. <laughs> okay, next. We proceed to question number three. Uh, tignan muna natin kung sino ang leader. Ayun, sino lang nangunguna ngayon? Ayun, si Pamela Ladran. Followed by Sebastian, Pauline, then we have Harvey, Jessica, and so on. Okay? So let's proceed with the third question. Bilisan niyo sumagot para ano. Yan. Birthplace of pupils. Birthplace of pupils. Ano kaya yan? Is it nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio? This should be easy. Okay? So it's nominal. Okay? 13 out of 21 got the correct answer. Let's see if who's leading at this point. Okay, so si Lorraine ang nakakuha ng pinakamabilis na sumagot dyan. But still on top, we have a new leader. It's Christine, then followed by Harvey, Pamela, Lorraine, and the rest. Okay, so we have two questions remaining. Let's proceed to the fourth question. Okay. Ayan. Huminga kayo ng malalim. Here we go. Amount of tuition fee. Nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Ayan. So, time's up. The answer is ratio. Let's see if who is leading at this point after four questions. Meron ba tayong bagong leader? <laughs> si Lorraine suddenly is on top. Then we have Marivic, Eduardo, and Sheila, and the rest. Ayun. Nako, nabago yung leaderboard natin. Tignan natin kung mababago ba sa last. Let's try to find out if who will win this 
round, round number one. You know? uh, I'm sorry, Edmond, but you really have to enter menti.com kasi hindi pwedeng dito ka sa chat na sumasagot kasi walang points na maibibigay sa'yo dyan. Okay, so we proceed to the last question. Okay, and let's see if who will win this round. Assigned room number two, uh, two let takers. Walang ah, two let takers, sorry. So we have nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Bibili sumagot. Ayan. One, time's up. And the correct answer is? It's nominal. Okay, bakit hindi ordinal? Ah, uh, Maybe you're confused, you know, kasi room 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for example. But it doesn't mean that room 1, uh, so, uh, there are rooms na naka-arrange na hindi magkakasunod. Okay? May arrangement siya, pero hindi magkakasunod. No? So, so, it does not mean anything. These are just room numbers. Kasi meron yung nasa left wing yung iba, Nasa right wing yung iba. That's why this should fall under nominal. Ano? So, tignan natin kung sinong nanalo. Ayan. So, it's Lorraine. Ayan. Congratulations, Lorraine. Siya ang nanalo <laughs> sa ating first round. Ayan. Okay, balik muna kayo dito sa ano natin, screen natin. Ayan, medyo maingay itong ating lugar. Ayan. So, it's Serene who won round number one. Okay. Mayroon kang surprise gift? Ano kayang surprise gift? Bibigyan kita ng, ano, ng papel na kasulat surprise gift. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Okay, so we still have another round. May I know if you guys are still there. Bigyan nyo naman ako ng heart. Heart na, uh, na emoji dito sa ating chat, chat room. Dito sa ating comment uh, box. If you are still there. How was how was it? I mean, did you enjoy it, guys? Or kinakabahan ba kayo? Or hindi nyo ba alam ang ginagawa ninyo? <laughs> Okay, so are you guys ready for the second round? Handa na po ba kayo for round number two? Ayan. So yung nanalo daw ang kinabahan pa, no? si Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine, you can uh, still join round number two, pero pag ikaw ang nanalo, ibibigay dun sa second. So, ganun yung mangyayari, ano? But you can still join round number two. Si Edmond ba yung hindi makapaso? Can you, can you, ano, na try, na, uh, were you able to fix that? Okay, you guys can also use this, ano, itong menti.com. Madali lang siya. Uh, for your class, for example, meron kayong online class. Pwede yon. Meron kayong online class. But I don't know if ginagawa yan sa DepEd. Ano? But, but, but you can use this one. Uh, the only problem here, kasi free, uh, I'm using a free 
uh, account dito sa www.menti.com is it only allows you to have five questions. Ano? So, uh, per slide presentation, I five questions lang siya. But if you will subscribe and buy sa menti.com, you can have as many as you want. Questions, ano? as you want. <clears throat> Ah, uh, si Edmund nawawala siya. Uh, mamaya pala, Isa, no? I'll give you a different code. There's a different code for every round. Okay, Edmund, um, sabi ko punta ka sa www.menti.com, ano? So, yun yun. Okay, guys, let's proceed to our second um, game. Just... just Last round before we wrap up. Hala? <laughs> hindi ko naman yata, ano? Ah, ito pala. Kala ko hindi ko na <clears throat> na-save. I hope this is the right one. So, ayan, so nasa screen yun na yung uh, code for the next round. Okay, again, go to www.menti.com. No, for every round, there is a new code. Ganun yon sa menti.com. So, every round, new code. Every round, new code. So, ayan na yung code. 7740-6365. Pasok na, guys. You can see the code on your screen. Malabo daw yung code. Okay, sige. 77406365. Okay, that's the code. Kita na? So the code is flashed on your screen. <laughs> Nakadata ka lang kasi, no, Felina, no? It's, it's not ideal if you're using data. Lalo pag nasa, ano ka, uh, wala ka sa poblasyon kasi medyo mahina talaga yung, yung signal. Okay, but, well, try mo lang, ano? Subukan mo lang. So we have 21. <clears throat> so 21 participants at the moment. Okay, I think we can start. 22. So nakapasok na yata. Ayan. Okay. So I think we can start with the last round. Are you guys ready? So let's start with question number one. Look at your screens. Here we go. Typhoon signal warning. Nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Yan. Piling mabuti at mabilis. Ipibilis. Ayan. So, 22. O, oh, lahat sumagot. Let's see kung sino ang nakakuha. So, it's ordinal. You know? So, 12 out of 23 who answered the question. And let's see if who's leading. Ayan, si Harvey ang pinakamabilis. na sumagot dyan sa question na yan. Okay? That's fastest. So, let's have the second question. Galingan nyo at bilisan nyo guys para makapasok kayo sa top 10 naman. Okay? Okay, here we go. Annual salary of teachers. Okay. 
Ayan. Pili na. May isa yata hindi nakasagot. May humabol ba? Ayan. So let's see. Yeah, that's correct. It's ratio. Marami pa rin hindi nakakakuha, no? It's 10 out of 21. So, and I hope may tanong dito na makuha nyo lahat. Um, hmm. So, let's see if who is leading after two questions. <clears throat> so, it's Eduardo Borillo Jr., On top of the leaderboard, followed by Sheila May and then Carla May. Ayun. So, tingnan natin. Pwede pa kayong humabol dyan kasi pag hindi nakuha nung, nung iba, pwede, nyong, pwede kayong, ano, at nakuha nyo, pwede kayong umangat. Okay? Alright, so let's proceed with our third question. We'll proceed to our third question. Here we go. Storage temperature for COVID-19 vaccines. Ayan, di ba merong storage tem- uh, temperature for COVID-19 vaccines? So ano kaya yan? Is it nominal, ordinal, ratio, or interval? The answer is... Wow, 23 lahat. Everyone has voted. Of course, it's interval. Binigyan natin example yan kanina. Ano? So, only 10 got the correct answer. Was And we have Sheila. Okay. So, si Sheila ang highest or is on top of the leaderboard with 2,679 points, then followed by Harvey, 1,890, then Edward, na nasa top one kanina, nasa third place na lang. And for this question, it's Jane Tolentino who answered the fastest. Okay, siya yung pinakamabilis na sumagot dyan at nakakuha ng tamang sagot. So we shall proceed now to our fourth question. Okay. So fourth question. You look at your screens. Here you go. Shoe size in inches. So is that ratio, interval, nominal, or ordinal? Okay, hati-hati pa din, ano? It's ratio, ano? We talk about measurements. So, ratio pa din yan. Okay, 7 out of 24. Nako. Yan. Tignan natin kung sino ang nasa top ng leaderboard. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, and Harvey answered that question the fastest. That's why he's now on top of the... Leaderboard, followed by Sheila, Eduardo, Novelin, Marvick, Kyla, Jane, Christine, Carla May, and Isa. Okay, yun. So, pwede pang humabol, ano? Kasi mayroon pa tayong last question. Uh, pag hindi yan makuha nung mga nasa taas, pwede nyong, pwede kayong manalo. ba? Diba? Sige. Ayan. Mag-inhale, exhale muna kayo dyan. Baka... Sobrang natitense na kayo. Huwag kayo masyadong matense because this is just a game, ano? It's a game and at the same, the same time, a way of learning, okay? Kasi baka mamaya ma-high blood kayo dyan sa sobrang pressure. Magkasala pa ako. <laughs> okay po, mga ma'am at sir. Are you ready for the last question? Okay, let's have the last question. Ano kaya yung huling tanong natin? Okay, for the last question, here it is. Let's see if who will win this round. 
sizes, small, medium, large of a shirt. Nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Time's up. And the correct answer is ordinal. Okay, that's 15 out of 24. Not bad. Tignan natin kung sinong nanalo. Okay, so do we have a new leader? No, it's but it's Harvey who won this round with 3,700 points. Ayan, galing naman. Ayan, so congratulations, Harvey. Meron kang surprised gift from me. Ayan, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Dalawa kayo ni... Sino na yung nanalo kanina? <clears throat> Ayun, basta dalawa kayo na nanalo. Okay? So, how was your experience? <laughs> Mabilis ang ano ni Sir Harvey. Ano si Lorraine pala yun kanina, no? Lorraine and Harvey, sila ang ating mga winners.
I think wala na yata tayong pag-uusapan. So let's uh, end this live discussion. So I hope you guys enjoyed our discussion for today. For those of you na medyo nagkakatkat yung kanilang mga signal, uh, pwede nyo panoorin ito because this will be posted in my YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Pag wala kayong tanong, if you have questions, pwede kayong mag iwan ng comment even sa replay you know, pwede nyo iiwan yung comment and I will answer them once I see them okay so that's it for today thank you guys for joining me I'll see you again next week thank you everyone bye